Hi everybody. Every time I ask somebody the reason for learning German, I get a different answer. A student who studies German as a subject in school or a working professional who has to deal with German clients or maybe it is a traveler who's visiting Germany soon. There are a plethora of reasons, but their goal is the same. In today's lesson, I'll introduce you all to some common phrases and diverse German greetings that are useful on different occasions with different people. These phrases can inspire conversation and connection with strangers and loved ones alike. So whether you're learning just for fun or if you're planning to travel to a German speaking country soon, these phrases will definitely come in handy. So, let's dive right into it. Today we'll be studying Deutsche Begrüßungen und Verabschiedungen. Deutsche Begrüßungen und Verabschiedungen. This means German greetings and goodbyes. Since I know these words can be a bit difficult to pronounce, I said Deutsche Begrüßungen und Verabschiedungen. Deutsche Begrüßungen und Verabschiedungen. Okay, so the first greeting is Hallo. Hallo, which means hello. Hallo is your go-to German greeting for saying hello. It is formal and it is also informal. It is both easy and friendly and can be used with any and everybody. So, hallo. Hallo. Next, we have the greeting that is used commonly in southern parts of Germany and also in Austria. This means, Grüß Gott. This is Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Now, although if you translate it literally, it means greet God. However, its actual meaning is God greets you. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. The phrase Grüß Gott derives from Grüß Dish Gott, which actually means may God bless you. Basically, if someone says Cruz God to me, then God should greet me. God should be with me, should meet me in my everyday life. So, in general, this is considered a very respectful greeting. So, if you say some, if you say Cruz God to somebody, you mean to say that they have a beautiful day, that God is with them the entire day. Okay? Next, we have another greeting that is commonly and widely used in southern parts of Germany. Now, this greeting is Zervus. Zervus. Zervus is a general, friendly way of greeting someone. So, it can also be used for saying hello as well as for saying goodbye. People say it in a hearty manner. For example, if you're visiting Germany during the Oktoberfest, uh, basically in Munich, you will find many, many people saying this. So, Zervus, which means at your service, but can also mean hello or goodbye. Okay, now the next greeting is commonly spoken in northern parts of Germany, specifically in Hamburg. This is Moin. Moin. Moin, which translates to good morning. Good Morning. This is also an informal way to greet someone. Mm, you can also say Moin Moin to greet someone known to you. This is not usually used with strangers because this is a very informal greeting. So, on your way, for example, you're in northern part of Germany or if you're in Hamburg, you can just say Moin Moin. Let's now have a look at the different ways of saying goodbye to someone in German. Goodbyes are hard. Hence, it is important that you are able to completely express what you mean when you part ways with someone. So, goodbyes as we said, Verabschiedungen. Long word, but it means goodbyes. Okay, 
The most versatile and the commonly used goodbye German word is Tschüss. Tschüss. Tschüss, which means goodbye or bye. This word can be said and used in all situations that you would say bye in. It is used formally and informally. Hence, you can never go wrong with this word. Tschüss. Tschüss can be a bit difficult to pronounce. So, in that sense, I would say that the closest word that you can think of in English at, at least uh, for this word's pronunciation is choose and the German word is tschüss. Choose, tschüss, tschüss. Okay, which means goodbye or bye. Next, we have auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. This means until we see each other again. Until we see each other again. Auf Wiedersehen. It's more formal than tschüss, but can be used comfortably in any situations where you are unsure of the level of formality. Next, we have, which is actually pretty similar to Auf Wiedersehen, it is Auf Wiederhören. Auf Wiederhören. Auf Wiederhören, which means until we hear from each other again. Until we hear from each other again. Auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiederhören. This is the same as auf Wiedersehen, except auf Wiederhören is used over the phone at the end of a phone call. Both of these phrases are very easy to remember if you break them down into parts actually. Let me explain this more clearly. Here, the word wieder. The word wieder here in both of these words means again. And the word here sehen means to see. It is a verb. Yes, so sehen means to see. And hören means to hear. So, wieder means again, sehen means to see, hören means to hear. Now, we have joined this word with the word over here and here. Auf Wiedersehen means until we see each other again. Auf Wiederhören, until we hear from each other again. Simple, isn't it? Okay, so now let's look at some pretty easy and self-explanatory words who are the closest equivalent to the English phrase see you later and are a good casual way to say goodbye in German. The first one is bis später. Bis später. Bis später, which means until later or see you later. Bis später. Next we have bis bald. Bis bald. Which means see you soon. Bis bald. Next we have bis morgen. Bis morgen. Bis morgen, which means see you tomorrow. Bis morgen. 
Okay. Next, we have bis, sum, nächsten, nächsten, mal, bis, sum, nächsten, mal, which means until next time. <laughs> All of these phrases can be used in a good casual way, informal setting basically and they're very easy, very short so it, these can be very easy for you to learn and uh, can be used in at the end of a conversation when you're bidding goodbye. So the first one is bis später, bis bald, bis morgen, bis zum nächsten Mal, bis zum nächsten Mal. Until next time. It is also very common to combine some of these phrases to add diversity to your spoken German. For example, Tschüss, bis bald. Or Auf Wiedersehen, Tschüss. These two phrases are combined and spoken very widely by Germans and it is used to bid farewell and put an end to an ongoing conversation. Let me write this. We combine the words Tschüss which we learned just now. Cheers. Bis bald. Which means goodbye. See you soon. Cheers. Bis bald. And the second one is Auf Wiedersehen. Cheers. which means until we see each other again, goodbye. So, we just learned bis später, bis bald, bis morgen, bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss, bis bald, auf Wiedersehen, tschüss. Okay, so now that we have learned some introductory greetings and goodbye phrases, I would now like to shed some light on some commonly spoken phrases that can be used in your everyday life. First, we have guten, guten, morgen, guten, morgen, which means good morning. Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten Tag, which means Good Afternoon or Good Day, good Afternoon, Good Day, Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Next, Guten Abend, Guten Abend, which means, as you guessed it already, good evening. Guten Abend. And lastly, we have Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht, which means good night. So, Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten Abend, Gute Nacht. Please don't think that I've missed the letter N over here. This is written as Gute Nacht and we will learn the reason for this in the upcoming lessons. Now, some other greetings are S. Freut mich. Z. Kennen zu lernen. This is one word. Es freut mich, Sie kennen zu lernen. This means, it is nice to meet you. Es freut mich, Sie kennen zu lernen. You can say this to someone you're meeting for the first time and uh, maybe you've introduced yourself and you want to say it is nice to meet you. So you say, es freut mich, Sie kennen zu lernen. 
Next, for example, if you're working together with someone for the first time and you want to say or we want to tell your team members that you look forward to working with them together, that you're very excited to work together, you can say, Ich freue mich auf unsere Zusammenarbeit. Let me write this very quickly. Ich freue mich auf unsere Zusammenarbeit. Ich freue mich auf unsere Zusammenarbeit. This means I look forward to our working together. I look forward to our working together. Ich freue mich auf unsere Zusammenarbeit. So once again, guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend, gute Nacht. Es freut mich, Sie kennen zu lernen. Es freut mich, Sie kennen zu lernen. Ich freue mich auf unsere Zusammenarbeit. Ich freue mich auf unsere Zusammenarbeit. Ich freue mich auf unsere Zusammenarbeit. So this is one, two, three, four, five and six. So everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video today. I hope this video was useful for you to learn some new phrases in German that you can use in your everyday life, which will help your communication become easier with German natives. And I hope that you continue learning. I always say that language, learning a language is a continuous process. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and bis zum nächsten Mal.